This is a demonstration of Preact being used linked to an ERP system and focuses on the combined constraints of resources such as equipment and labour as well as materials. These materials can be stock items, purchase items or those produced by manufacturing orders. For example, in an assembly environment where confirmed orders generated by MRP are dependent. For example, a final assembly order is dependent on one or more sub-assembly orders and these in turn may be dependent on parts produced by other orders. Advanced planning and scheduling systems such as Preactor 400 APS are characterised by using the constraints of resources and materials concurrently when a schedule is generated. First we will import the orders to schedule from ERP. Let's take a look at the data that has been imported. This is a list of the materials supply orders, which is a mix of stock items and purchase orders for bought out materials. These are the sales orders that we want to satisfy. The bill of materials or BOM has also been imported for each product that is to be made in the schedule. Preact will use this BOM data to perform its pegging function whereby orders will be linked together so that they are dependent on each other and will thus constrain the schedule based on the availability of materials that each order requires. Here we can see a number of pegging rules that you may wish to use in different circumstances. For example, you might want to change which orders have first use of materials available based on priority. Then we will access the Preactor sequencer by clicking on the Generate Schedule icon. This is the Preactor Sequencer screen. The Gantt chart shows the resources to be scheduled in the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. The icons at the bottom in the Unscheduled Operations window represent the tasks or process steps to be scheduled. The grey diamonds on the Supply window represent one or more material supply orders which can be purchase orders or stock. These are located at the time when they are expected to be available and manufacturing orders will link or peg to them to consume those materials. The diamond icons in the demand window represent one or more sales orders. These are located at the time when the order is due for delivery. Sales orders will link or peg to manufacturing orders that produce the required product or products. This is a list of the orders to be scheduled. Let's look at the wheel order A105 using the Material Explorer. Preactor has a tool to visualise material flow and constraints. It is called the Material Explorer. This is a graphical representation of the material constraints, shortages, available materials for pegging and so on. Here we have the data for order A105 and shows that all the materials it needs to be scheduled have not been allocated to it. Before we can schedule the operations we need to link or peg together the dependent orders. This provides the control we require to take into account the availability of materials both purchased and produced by the plant. Select the peg materials option from the tools menu. Now let us see what the impact of the pegging process has had on order A105. You can see from this that all four materials required have been satisfied. Notice that the spokes have been allocated to some initial stock and from a purchase order. Also we now no longer have any shortages reported so materials are in balance. You can navigate through the material flow using the material explorer. Here we have clicked on order A201 which is linked to a sales order. Having pegged the orders together, we can now schedule all the operations for the orders we have imported from ERP. The schedule has now been generated, taking into account all the resources, constraints and the materials required at each operation step. Each operation is represented on the Gantt chart as a bar, where the start of the bar is when that operation is scheduled to begin and the end of the bar when the operation is scheduled to be completed. 
In Preactor you can have up to three colours of the bar and you can select which attributes to use for those colours using the bar tool. Here we have selected order number for the colour of the top half of the bar. We have used the bottom half to indicate whether the material requirements for an operation have been satisfied. These are all green here, materials are in balance. You can use the highlight option to see the materials dependencies. Let's select order A203. Right click on the bar and select highlight options then bidirectional ops. Now the orders connected to A203 for the tandem product are shown. The dotted lines indicate that these connections are material links. The red dotted line shows the link to the sales order. Red means that the link is not valid since the order is scheduled to finish after the sales order is due to be delivered. We will now investigate the shortages through the Material Explorer. This shows the materials used by order A203. The plot of the tandem shows how the count drops below zero. When we scheduled the orders, we used a simple schedule file order to select which orders are loaded first. Now we will schedule again using the due date rule. This will load orders with the earliest due dates first. Now the orders are no longer late. In this next scenario, we have just been advised by a supplier that a delivery of saddles due on the 13th will be two days late. To see the impact, we need to edit that purchase order. Set the new arrival date to the 15th. The diamond representing this purchase order has now been moved to the 15th. The colours on the bottom half of the bars have changed colour, indicating shortages. We now need to remove the operations from the Gantt chart and reschedule. You can see that three of the orders have now been scheduled to be completed after the due date because of the late arriving saddles. The unicycle order though is completed earlier. Let us explore the materials for the unicycle order. The unicycle order obtained its saddles from some initial stock so was not affected by the late arriving purchase order. Now look at the bicycle order. The explorer shows that the bicycle order uses 20 saddles from stock but then had to wait another 3 days for the 5 more it needed. The tricycle order A204 however only requires 20 saddles so it would be better to use the stock for this order instead. To reallocate the stock saddles to A204 we need to change its priority and re-peg. Now remove the orders from the schedule and reallocate the materials. Now that the tricycle order has a higher priority it has been pegged to the saddles in stock and is now scheduled earlier. This has shown just a few features of Preacta when used with an ERP system where order, bill of materials and routing information is held in ERP and passed to Preacta as required. We have other demonstrations that show Preacta being used in other environments such as make to order job shops and where preferred sequencing is required to minimise changeover time.